I'm A.L. Levy, and I'm a producer at Audio Hammer Studios. I always get asked by people, what is the secret to making a great recording? Or what piece of gear can they get that'll solve all their problems? The number one secret to making great recordings, and this applies to whether or not you're at a big studio like Audio Hammer, or you are in your bedroom with an M Audio box making your own recordings, the number one secret is that you have to prep right. That, that applies to every aspect, from the songs to the instruments to being able to play the songs. And on our end, as a studio, it means that we pretty much have to know what the recording entails, who is in the band, what are the arrangements going to be, what are the song structures like? Are these long songs? Are these short songs? Like, what's the instrumentation? And we also have to have all the tools available here to get all the instruments and players up to par before we even hit record. Say with guitars, that means we need to uh, pick the right guitar. Now, how do we find the right guitar? We go through about seven or eight of them and then we figure out what sounds best. Before you record anything, you gotta get it set up, you gotta choose the absolute right string gauge for whatever tuning you're in. Uh, you have to make sure that the picks are the right gauge for those strings, for the tuning. A lot of people like to focus on the big things, like the amps, the expensive things, or the type of drum, things like that, where the pickups, the strings, the string gauge, the person's right hand, uh, how comfortable they are with the material, all that is just as important. Well, what will happen is you'll have one song at the beginning that sounds awesome, because that's when you got the tones rocking, and then it'll slowly degrade over a period of time. And by the time you get to song 10, it sounds like crap. So what we do is, you know, when it starts to sound a little more dead, we will change the heads and retune it and match it exactly to what it was before and it stays consistent throughout the whole thing. All this prep stuff and the not cutting corners can be very frustrating to artists. While it doesn't take forever to change strings, it's like you get this momentum going and you don't want to stop. If they're feeling it and you have to make them stop because the drums aren't staying in tune and they're just sounding dull, you're gonna deal with some frustration on their part. A lot of people skip those steps. They'd rather not frustrate anybody then take the time to uh, fix that. But uh, you kind of have to be patient and just help them see that this is how it's done. And yeah, it takes time. It's not, you're not going to get it done in a weekend or even two weekends. I think the best way to deal with it is help them see the big picture. An album is forever. It doesn't, doesn't go away. Uh, once, once it's done, it's done. And yes, you will have to live with it. There's this misconception out there in the world of recording that spending money on gear is going to improve the quality of your recordings. And a lot of people worry about which amp to use with which cab or which SIM to use with what and spending all this money on all this crazy expensive gear yet they'll not ever get their guitar set up once and it'll be out of tune the whole time and they'll use stock factory pickups uh, and just is stuff that boggles the mind and it really doesn't take that much extra time. If you think about it, what's 15 more minutes to change some strings if they're starting to sound dead? It's very, very important to get things at the source. You have to get that together before you ever hit record. And then you're not fixing, then you're just mixing. Don't take this as me trying to be your dad or the guy at the big studio looking down on DIY or anything like that. What I'm actually saying is that your M Audio box and your copy of Cubase are all you probably need. If you don't have the gear you want, don't even worry about it. Just set it as a goal and save up for it and maybe one day you'll get it. But you've already got what you need to make a great sounding record and it's right here and right here. Your biggest tools are your ears and if you take the time to develop your ears and just prep right all the things I said, you will be more than happy with your results.